Hi everyone, today we're going to do problem one of chapter six. So what we have is an NVIDIA card maker uh, for computers and they're either going to be branded NVIDIA if they're good enough or they'll be branded as an off-brand. So what we've got are two variables that are going to help us predict this. They are going to be number of cores on the board and the amount of RAM memory on the board for the video card. So we're going to start out by testing the overall model. HO is going to say beta 1 equals beta 2 equals 0. HA, at least one beta is not equal to 0. Again, the difference here is that in predicting this nominal variable, we're going to use a chi-square distribution. So your test statistic is 64.59, and its probability is less than 0 0.0001. Therefore, we will reject HO, and we're 95% confident that at least one of the predictors is good. Now we want to know which one should remain in the model. So I look at the p-values, again for the chi-squared statistic for each of the variables. Core's p-value is less than 0 0.0001 and also for memory. So we're going to keep both variables in the model. But before we say that for sure, we also want to check that the bit values are positive for each one. What I did is I went through and took the chi-square value for cores minus the log of n, and I got BIC of 21.16. Then I took the chi-square score for memory minus the log of n and got BIC of 14.13. They're both positive. Now we're sure that we want to keep both variables. The next step is looking at R squared. Again, instead of talking about the amount of explained variation, we're simply going to use R squared as a value showing how useful this model is in predicting NVIDIA cards. It's not nearly as large as most R squareds in multiple regression, but this one is 33.2% is useful. The next part is the misclassification rate. You'll find that under measure, and the value for the misclassification rate is 21.13%. So that does tell us the percentage of values predicted incorrectly. All right, so in other words, 21% of these predictions were either said to be NVIDIA when they should have been an off-brand or classified as off-brand and they would have passed as NVIDIA. Now we're going to interpret the coefficients. You don't look at the actual parameter estimates this time. You find the unit odds ratios. Core's value is 0.9927. Subtract 1 from that multiply by 100, and turn it to a percentage. Do the same thing for memory, 1.0025 minus 1 times 100, and we get 25%, so, or 0.25%. If I interpret that as the number of cores increased by 1, the odds of predicting NVIDIA correctly decrease by 0.73%, holding all else constant. Then for memory, as the memory increases by one unit, the odds of correctly predicting NVIDIA increase by 0.25%, holding all else constant. So once again, when you have a negative percentage, as X increases by one, the Y value decreases. When it's positive, as X increases by one, the Y value will increase also. 
Now we want to see if the residuals are randomly distributed. So you're going to look at the confusion matrix and you're going to add across. So for NVIDIA, 50 plus 12 is going to equal 62. That's the denominator. Then I want to know of the ones predicted that were actually NVIDIA, there were 50 that were correct. That's the numerator. 50 out of 62 gives us 0 0.8064. Then I do the same thing for the other row. 18 plus 62 gives me a denominator of 80. Then the number predicted that were actually other was 62. So that's your numerator. 62 divided by 80 is 0 0.775. These values are fairly close to each other. There's no rule of thumb of what's close and what's distant. So we're going to say that these are randomly distributed residuals. The next problem we'll do together is the Property Brothers problem. I would like you to try to answer that on your own and then check it with the video. When we have our next quiz, it's going to be somewhat shorter and exactly like what these problems are plus a few of the terms from the first PowerPoint uh, talking about nominal variables are going to be predicted and we convert those to logits.